Warren Buffett will buy Bitcoin, says Morgan Creek's Jason Williams. And this wasn't so much about, you know, him buying, uh, you know, gold and going into Bitcoin, but just Warren Buffett getting into gold is amazing to me. So on Friday, it was reported on several major news outlets that American billionaire uh, Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, bought, this is weird, 21 million shares of Barrick Gold worth 563 million. This is something investors like Buffett, known as value investors, have never done before. According to Morgan Creek partner Jason Williams, Bitcoin is the next thing for Buffett to score and he will buy it soon. And it was just like what Ball was talking about. Investors are going to look into some kind of safe haven assets. So if you got somebody like Buffett and he's going into gold, the next obvious choice that he can do is go into digital gold, which would be Bitcoin. Is he going to do it? I have no idea, but I can tell you it would only make sense to me, especially if, he's, if, if he takes a look at it, what has been the highest performing asset class in the last decade and has been uh, Bitcoin and to a lesser extent, Ethereum as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Anyhow, moving on. Going to report by Forbes, the decision to buy the shares may have been inspired by a close and painstaking monitoring of gold's performance in the charts, which Buffett and his partner, Charlie Munger, may have found interesting. I would believe they did. And now he talks about uh, Bitcoin Maxi, Max Kaiser, which he explained that the uh, billionaire's involvement with gold will spill over as Bitcoin is considered to be many uh, digital gold, which exactly what I said. Global, he states, global 100 trillion fund management, biz, is less than 1% invested in gold. With Buffett's now moving into gold, expecting global allocation of 5% AU minimum implies $5,000 per gold. Expect a 1% Bitcoin global allocation. Remember that again. Expect a 1% Bitcoin global allocation, which is $1 trillion. This implies 50000 for Bitcoin. Expect PTJ ups to 10%. So I got to tell you, all those different uh, gold bugs out there and they're talking, hey, congratulations, gold's at an all-time high. But I got to tell you, I understand why they're, they talk uh, negatively about Bitcoin. It's because Bitcoin is going to eat their lunch. And just to take a look at how much wealth there is just in gold, which is pretty interesting. If you take a look at, this is one I, sh I show a lot, it's the Money in Markets. It was just published on May 27th, just more than three months ago. And you can just see that this little square is worth 100 billion. So here's silver at a paltry 43 billion dollars, okay? Here's crypto at 244. Uh, now it's uh, another 100 billion, so a little bit more. Military spending, budget deficit, coins and banks, Fed's balance sheet, which is way higher, I'm sure. Here's billionaires, here's these guys, good for them. And here's gold. So gold right now is looking at almost 11 trillion dollars. So how much do you think if you just take 10%, just 10% uh, and you put it into Bitcoin, there's your trillion. That's pretty much it. I mean, 1.1 1 .1, uh, trillion if you want to be, uh, you know, math wise. But yeah, that's just that's first of all, that's just gold. That's just gold. Now, if you want to take a look at uh, other types of places where you can get this type of money, here's the Fortune 500. Look at Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, and Facebook, and Google. How much do they have? That's a lot of money. Here's stock markets, 89 trillion. Global money supply, which 7% is physical, I might add, 90% non-physical. And I don't really care about the rest of the stuff. The, the one that's always gets me is this one right down here called derivatives. Because in derivatives, uh, in, at the low end, it's $558 trillion, And on the high side, it could be what's called one quadrillion, which I didn't even know that number even existed until I saw this, this visualization. So if we start to talk about you know how early we are, uh, my friends, we are uh, unbelievably super early if we're talking about cryptocurrency uh, so if you think that uh, it can't go up uh, i beg you to differ and lastly to finish this up it states if he eventually buys bitcoin it will be a dream come true for the crypto space and may mark the beginning of a new era for the industry at large and i gotta tell you uh warren buffett's from omaha i'm from omaha my brother still lives there and uh, i was back there about a month ago and he was telling me about his uh, investment in Visa, which he had uh, done he's now for ten for ten years. And he was he was talking to me about how he doubled his uh, his uh, investment. And I was like, uh, "Are you are you bragging or are you complaining? I don't know what you're talking about." He goes, "Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I, I doubled in a decade." I'm like, "Jesus, crime any Christmas?" I go, "That's just that just happened to me like a month ago." I go, you, "You know, you really should take a look at this stuff." He's like, "That's ridiculous. There's no one who who's going to get in that." I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. If Warren Buffett comes out and says in any way, shape, or form that he's doing anything with cryptocurrency digital assets, you will see this market explode because you've got people like my brother who follow that guy like he is some kind of god. And uh, let me tell you, once they figure it out, 
of what's going on behind the scenes, it'll be a powder keg. Just my opinion, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on.